Hey guys, this is Dory and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to help you discover the most beautiful spots and to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So subscribe and welcome to our channel. In this video, Daisy May, right? Welcome to Daisy May. Daisy May. They had these louvered windows. And they're easy to remove and to install? Uh, not that easy. You're looking about an eight hour job. Air cool. It's, yeah, air cooled engine. There's no cooling. And now, this is what's interesting. Yeah. You still got a lot of room here. The gear shift is like an old school bus. That's why they call it a bus. This was the end of the Westphalia run. At one point in the 90s, Winnebago took over. And so they were called Winnebago's after a while. So I've seen these buses a million times and you know they always make my head turn like you know it's a flag. It's interesting. Never got a chance to tour one until today. Daisy May, right? Welcome to Daisy May. Daisy May. So how old is she? Well she's uh let's do the math on her. 1975. 1975? Okay, she's older than me. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> 1975. That's and you've had her since? <laughs> I'm not that old. I would have been 16 years old. <laughs> no, since when? Well, you said 16 years, right? Yeah, we've had her from 17, for 17, but not from 1975. 17 years. 17 years yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, was this a restoration? or? It was. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, I literally dragged her, had her dragged out of a farmer's field and brought her home and we started to give her love from there on. And wow. And still doing so. Yeah. No, was the engine turning? It was, but it was banging when you got it started. It was seized up because it was sitting too long. Okay. And uh, so I had to change the engine right away. And since then I've rebuilt it twice. What do we got on the outside? Well, we've got a, it, it was actually um, urethane paint. It's a single stage urethane. Uh, these days people are doing base coat, clear coat, but I wasn't equipped for that uh, okay. facilities wise, so I'd use a urethane paint on it, so it's very, very tough. So this is? This is a vent for the, um, for the water inside, there's running water, I have a sink, and so this is the vent for the sink, for the plumbing. Uh, this is the city water hookup, so if you're in a campground you want to hook up to the, to the water. Okay, do you and need to use a regulator or no? A, a reg no water actually, regulator. What no? I do, no, I, well, you can if you want, but it'll hold the pressure. It's regular, you know, okay. It's regulated, and there's actually uh, you can actually pour water into the uh, the sink into the tank from inside as well for the electric. Oh, uh, it runs electrically. Here's a power, shore power. So oh, nice. Plug this in. I've got a three way fridge, okay. And uh, so you've got um, 110, 12 volt, and propane. Right and now it's on propane. This is a, I just put this bucket here to catch the water from the sink when you're okay. brushing your so teeth and so on. It's your gray tank. It is. Oh, that's so perfect. So it's just actually just a bucket, it's just so it doesn't go all over so the grass. So is there like a, a hole that was made or you made the hole? No, it was, it was made, it was made for that in the plumbing and here's a cap when you're not camping. Oh, so right on. on so that you don't have anything going up in there. Oh, you know how practical that is? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's like, I have to go through so much work to remove my, uh, my your drain yeah my oh. jog so yeah. that's pretty neat all right that's it so <laughs> these are nice so they've they had these louvered windows uh, okay. up to i guess up to 79 until they remodeled to the vanagon uh which have more like solid windows sliders but these are great because it can be pouring rain and you have them wide open you get all the ventilation you need instead of water flying in so it just comes out and uh, so they're great Huh. This I changed as well about 17 years ago, so it has faded since. Okay. Yeah. And they're easy to remove and to install? Uh, not that easy. You're looking about an eight-hour job. Ooh. Yeah, so you, have to, you take it off, you remove everything, and you, you flip the top up onto a couple of board horses. Okay. And then you get busy with it. And so you have to mount it here afterwards. Is it snapped on, or it's like no. a rubber just that... It's, it's screwed in. There's a full uh, molding on the inside. Okay. So you actually have to go on the top bunk and be on your chest and remove the cushions and screw it 
one screw at a time by hand because you can't fill it, fit a drill in there. So got it. Yeah. So it. Uh, you don't, huh. want to, you don't want to do it every every. Year. That's interesting. Okay, <laughs> you got a solar panel on there. I do. I have a solar panel up there. It's just a forty watt. Okay, so. And, it, but it's adequate for um, for when we we stop on the road and we have the fridge on twelve volt. Uh, it'll keep you know it'll it'll keep the twelve volt going, and um, and then when you just camp, it just keeps that deep cycle going. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. And here's the engine. So you have the rear engine, air cooled. So there's no coolant. Air cool. It's, yeah, air cooled engine. There's no coolant. There's uh, no power steering. All you basically do is check the engine oil once in a while. And uh, we've got the running battery is here. And then we've got the house battery on that side. So I've got an AGM battery there. Okay. And that's what runs the fridge and runs my stereo and everything else. So this is a four cylinder? It's a four cylinder, two liter engine or 2000 cc. Yeah. Okay, 2000, okay. Yeah, so, and that, that was as big as they got in these vans. So that's Originally pretty good. Originally it had a 1.8 liter, so I, I upgraded to the 2000 uh, CC. And you could tow anything with this, or? Yeah, I have a small hitch, well actually you can put a bike rack on it if you want. Okay. Uh, which I have, and we also have a small ultralight trailer uh, that we'll carry if we're going up, if we're doing camping in the woods where we, uh, we go fishing and so on, we put our canoe on the roof. Oh. And I have this trailer and I have an electric uh, boat motor that I keep in there and, uh, and an extra deep cycle battery as well, another AGM battery to keep it in. So we have all the equipment, That's it's pretty very good. light. That's pretty neat. Hmm. So this you could leave it open, does it become part of the bed? Or? This is uh, oh, wow. okay. That's nice. bed down here and you actually have a screen you can clip on on the inside so on very hot nights. You have a full screen here so you can keep this open and, and have fresh air coming through. Or just chill? Just chill. You've done this before with a nice view? Yep, absolutely. That's really neat. <laughs> that is really cool. Mm -hmm. I like it, I like it, I like it. So you do have... Is this yours or does this van? The, the awning? This belongs to this van here. Oh, okay. So we've just basically made do because we, we're, we're in such close proximity. Our regular uh, awning couldn't fit here. So that we just stretched out camis and we just tied it to here. So this, this is a 91-year-old uh, van. 91? Yeah. So this was the latest, um, I guess, Westphalia's. This okay. Was the, this was the end of the Westphalia run. At one point in the 90s, Winnebago took over. And so they were called Winnebagos after a while. But, Winnebagos. Uh, so huh. it's a 91. Interesting. Yeah. So yours looks similar to that? My awning? Yeah. No, I have an awning and they're sitting in two tubes on top of uh, oh. there's a rack in the front. Okay, I will check that out later. And one, yeah, one is the canvas and one is the tubes. They're just basically plumbing pipes. Okay. And um, and the all the, uh, the other hardware are in the uh, the tubes and so on. I mean, the, uh, the pipes and all that for the awning. It's, it's a higher awning. It goes about, I guess, seven feet high or so. But wow. you sort of clip it in here. So it's not, it doesn't just uh, kind of extend like this. It's different, but, uh, but I mean, does the job. Space. It's eight by eight. Yeah, that's yeah. really neat. All mm -hmm. right. Let's take, oh, here it's the fuel. Yeah, we got, we got our locking gas cap here. And now this is what's interesting. Yeah. You still got a lot of room here. Oh yeah. And it's, <coughs> it's almost eight feet tall inside. So I'll show you out here and then you, you can come inside. Okay. So we have this, which is nice. We have storage under here. We usually keep uh, mosquito repellent and that type of thing under here. So this just pulls down like that. So bring that up. I've got a three-way fridge here with my controls. Now these were not equipped with this. They just came with a 12-volt uh, 110 fridge. Uh, but I, I was able to do a conversion on it. So I have a three-way. I have it on propane. And so I have a propane tank under here which is unusual for these huh and uh how do you fill that up through there too yeah yeah well usually i take the step off which is just two bolts and okay. i bring it to uh, a service station and they just fill it up oh it's pretty neat yeah and um yeah so you've got your fridge you've got storage up here you can put some of your spices and everything else <laughs> your coffee you've got your cutlery in here and so this this bench here turns into a bed. You just kind of flip this up. It comes straight out. There's a full bed here. Okay. 
uh, there's a dining table which swivels out, so you can actually seat four on this. Oh, I Doesn't see what seem you so, mean. But we have done so, but usually a couple of small people in there, <laughs> kids. Um, you've got running water here. Yeah, because it goes directly to the buckets. Yeah. That's so sweet. So you have running water, you've got your tank there. Your fresh water. Yeah, and usually this one you can fill it up, you can put water in from here. Or you can connect it to the city water and then you have a tap here for the city water. That's pretty cool. And you have storage under here, this is where I keep my tools. Yeah, I gotta get a toolbox like this. And then this one here, I keep. these are actually tarps I, I usually put on the side of the awning if it gets windy. And you have everything you need to re do repairs in here. I've got even a spare um, fuel pump. Wow. A spare alternator, I've got all kinds of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then this one can swivel out here. Then you have a lot of storage behind the sink here. That's where we put all our dry goods. Okay. Like cans of stuff, uh, bottles of liquor. <laughs> Snacks, dry goods, that goes back there, and then you've got storage under here, where we keep, again, this first aid kit, and then we have all, what I call, all my electrical stuff. I have a, a, a pump, an air pump in there, um, battery charger, and a couple of other things in there. And then over here is just like our candles and extra TP and that type of thing. I usually stick a little stove in here as well. Which I There's have. a lot of room. Yeah, and then you've got storage under here as well. So again, we have spare stuff in here. You keep extra stuff. As you see, there's some space in there. Really, I love the speakers too. It's yeah. like, <laughs> so is this original? Everything original in here or? Um, all this, yeah, every, all the furniture is original. Okay. And actually the speakers is something I added and as I huh. said, I put that fridge in. Really and, cool. And then you have a bed up here as well. You just come inside. See, it's about is... eight feet tall in here. Really? Look over my head. Oh my God. See here? So, so this bed flips right out. So you go and you, it flips. Yeah, and there's a small stool, that little stool that has the same material as this on it. Okay. It's out there. So you put that stool right here. So you step here, step here and up onto the bed. So this flips right out to, right out to here. That is really neat. It's all full of stuff right now, but... And then you have all this ventilation. And you can actually unzip this screen here to access stuff on the roof. This is the, the tray up here. Those are the tubes I told you about that hold the awning. Okay, yeah, I see. So it. one has the poles and one has the uh, canvas in it. And that's a, a leveling uh, ramp. If we're somewhere and it's, we're low on one side, we have two ramps there. Huh. And you have an ex extra electrical cord there. That is really cool. And, well, we have a, our stereo system, Bluetooth, and everything. This is a cabin area here. As you can see, the, the gear shift is like an old school bus. That's why they call it a bus. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, that is neat. Yeah, and it's not synchro mesh, so you need to know where your gears are. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah. And I love the gas pedal. It really looks <laughs> like a bus, you know. It's really cool. So, you, wow, shifting. I haven't seen a clutch in years. <laughs> it's insane. So what is the temp one, the temp gauge there? That's, well, one's oil pressure. Okay. One is the, uh, is the voltage, and the other is the amps. It's not a temperature. I don't okay. have any temperature gauge on this. Okay. I have a light that will turn on if it, if it overheats because there's no, there's no liquid. It's not liquid cooled. Got there's it. There's no antifreeze. So there's a special uh, sensor you can get if you want that. They didn't come equipped with it. And the, the red thing there, is, I guess it's your four ways? Which ones? Yes, that's the four way. And the uh, red switch there? That's that's my front, my fog lamps at the front. Oh, cool. Yeah, and to the right where it shows temperature and all that. Yeah. That was for the gas heater. I think I'd mentioned to you it comes equipped with a gas heater. Okay. But you you crank it and it turns off after ten minutes. Wow, it's really yeah. neat. Yeah. Wow. Really so we cool. So get here, we put our luggage on the front, and we just access our clothes from our. Uh, as you need. Yeah. Yeah, as we need them. Oh, that is really nice, man. <laughs> I you have everything you need, so you don't need to uh, for information for like winter time. It's just there's nothing yeah. to do. No, well in the winter I just park it. I never use it in the winter, ever. So yeah, because your the only water you have is this one, and it goes straight down. It goes straight down, and so what we do in the in the um, 
in the fall is I'll drain. There's a drain also underneath that I can drain the water out of the uh, tank. And I just put some antifreeze in here. And, and then I it. run it till it's pink and then shut it down. That's yeah, it. Really easy. Yeah, it's yeah, really cool. Yeah. So it's, it's the um, perfect uh, van for a Baja. It, it is. And, <laughs> and this, right? is your typical, this is your typical Westphalia. Yeah. As they, as they um, advance, they move this they move this block from here. So this was 75, they added here 76, they put it up against there. Okay. So then you had everything sort of lined up like this. Here, I'll show you this. You see? Wow, okay, I see what you mean. And then you can actually swivel this seat around. Okay. So you can actually, you know, you can swivel this around. So you, the fridge was sort of in the corner, it was like a more of a freezer. So it's different, but I like this because I can access things easily instead of going in to get something. So they only made one model like this until uh, they switched no, 74 years? 74 and 75. That was they, it. They're they all the this. same thing. Yeah. But like inside, they were all the same. They're all this the is same. all you get. Yeah, this was from, I believe it was from 67 okay. up to 79. It was the same body style. They did okay. some changes in the windows and so on, but it was a similar body style. Before that, they had the split window. Got which it. has a sort of that V in the front of it, and uh, and they're highly sought after. Yeah, I know the levels. Yeah, <laughs> Make yeah. sure you're nice and straight. Too, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, really cool, guys. How many kilometers do you have in this? It's hard to say when you change all those engines. Okay. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know, huh? It's hard to say because it wouldn't be original, and I don't know uh, how many kilometers it originally had. Um, I bought it from a senior. And oh. he bought it from a senior, but it originally was it, it was originally purchased by I think it was a minister of agriculture during the Trudeau years in the seventies. Wow! And I tried to track down who that person was, and I can't I don't recall his name now. But anyway, so he <laughs> bought it and had it for a couple of years, and then this other person purchased it, and then he went to Alaska with it. <laughs> and his, unfortunately, his wife got ill after, oh. and they couldn't travel anymore. And then, and then his grandson got a hold of it, and it ended up in a field. So, so this went to Alaska. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, um, he told me all the story, and he'd been all over. And, yeah. All right, guys, so I really hope you liked the tour. I loved it. I was always curious about those vans. They're so cool. Oh, I see them all the time on the road, right? So the chance today, I mean, that guy's super cool. And uh, I'm glad I got the tour because now I'm not curious anymore. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to follow and I'll see you on the next one.